Hi everyone, I'm Mia McCormick with Kelby One, and we are so excited that Canon has asked us to talk to photographers and get them to share their thoughts on the brand new 7D Mark II. We were fortunate enough to get the camera into the hands of legendary sports photographer Peter Reed Miller. Guy's got like a hundred Sports Illustrated covers. Peter, thanks for coming and talking to us about this camera. I know that we all say you can take a great image with any camera if you're a skilled photographer. But with sports, gear makes a difference, right? It does, Mia. And it's, it's, it's hard for me to say because I get asked this question all the time. How can I take better pictures of my son at his high school football game? They're all blurry. They're all dark. How about my daughter playing volleyball inside the gym? It's dark. And the only answer I've had for a long time is, is to say, spend money. And I hate to say that to people. Spend more money. Get better equipment. Now, with the Canon 7D Mark II, there's an answer that's very affordable, probably significantly less than a, a full 1DX uh, camera. And so this is great. It's got high ISO performance. It's got high frame rate. It's got great autofocus. So it puts the parent, the prosumer, the aspiring amateur right on the level with the pro in terms of shooting. So because you, you have workshops and you have a lot of people that come into your workshops, what would you say is, is the number one problem that they have is it's not really like skill or learning how to capture sports, right? It's gear. It's gear. I mean, they come in, they're motivated, they're interested, they have great ideas, but they can't actualize with the cameras they have because they don't have the performance that they need, especially in the autofocus. This camera has fantastic autofocus. I, I was able to shoot it and compared to the 1DX, I think it is right there with it in terms of autofocus. High ISO, great. And 10 frames per second. How can you get that? A couple of years ago, no camera did 10 frames a second. Because you're balancing a bunch of different variables when you're working in the field, right? Yeah. You, have, you have weather, you have light, you have the athletes, all things that you can't control. So there are certain things that you need your camera to be able to control. Focus, focus, focus. You need great autofocus that grabs quickly and stays on the subject. You need good high ISO because it's going to get dark. It's always going to get dark. More and more sports are played at night. More and more events are at night. And you need, you, you need a good solid camera, a camera that's built well. This is a professional quality build in this camera. And you need the frame rate. You need 10 frames per second. They really nail every instant of the action. So you typically shoot 1DX, and you're saying that this really measures up in terms of focus? Yeah, it really does. It really does. This is the first time I've, I've found a camera that really is very close to the 1DX and at significantly less in price. So enthusiasts that are kind of plateauing at this level, this is something that could be a game changer for this them. This is going to take them up. This is going to take, knock them up a level right there. How do you think that this changes the game for somebody that's maybe not at that pro level yet? Is it going to be different than the camera that they're shooting with now? Well, I think it gives them room to grow. I think they're going to see how much more they can do. I mean, one thing about this camera with the 1.6 crop, it's like having a tele-extender in your camera. It makes this 200 millimeter lens equivalent now to a 320 millimeter. So this is a lens that would probably get three times as much money for a, a 300 millimeter lens, 3028, than this lens. So there's, there's a boost right there for everybody. And that gets you closer. Gets you closer, yes, yes, gets you much closer. And you said focus, focus, focus earlier. What is it about the focus? What is it that you really need it to do in sports? Well, again, you need it to grab your subject quickly and you need to stick to, to stay, not to bounce off the subject. And this, this camera really does, it. as I said, it's very, very close, if not equivalent to the 1DX in terms of that performance. So you actually, you were able to shoot with this camera a little bit. What did you shoot and what was the experience like working with it? I shot uh, women AVP volleyball players on the beach and uh, volleyball is a really deceptively tough sport to shoot. There's a lot of back and forth movement, quick dives, quick lateral movement, and this camera was great. It followed them everywhere. And it's got a good feel. It's, it's solid. I mean, I can take this camera and I feel like I've got a pro camera in my hands. I don't feel like I have a plastic camera. This is a metal camera. It's solid. It's well balanced. And it did a great job shooting these, these gals, and it was, it was uh, wonderful to work with. And you're not worried about working in sand with that camera at all, huh? No, no. It was, it's very well sealed, and uh, there were no issues at all. So we know that this camera really raises the game. Students coming into your workshop now asking for recommendations, what would you tell them? I would recommend that they buy a 70 Mark II and a 70-200 f2.8. When you put this lens on the 1.6 crop camera, you get a 320 f2.8. 
If you were to use an extender on a full frame body, you would go to F4, you would not have the low light capability. So this is really, this is really a, a bonus to get this 320 F2.8. You can shoot at night and you'd still have some money left over to buy some more gear. Peter, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on this camera. It's really an amazing piece of equipment. Yes. Well, we were also lucky enough to get the camera in the hands of Scott Kelby and Adam Jones, so keep your eyes peeled for those interviews. Thanks for watching.